welcome. We are so excited that you're here for Rooted Kids. We are gonna have so much fun today. It is our last week of Upside Down, that series. Everybody say, aww. Aww. That was good. <laughs> All right, we are talking about humility this week. So we are gonna have so much fun. We are so excited. Make sure that you get up, you're excited, you have some energy. Get ready because we are going to have so much fun. What's going on guys? We have a brand new game for you this morning and it's called the Disney Movie Emoji Challenge. Or like we like to call it, the Disney Emoji Challenge. What? So how this game is played is we have a whole bunch of emojis and we're gonna show them to you. And every time we flash you some emojis, you have to look at those emojis and you have to guess what movie we're talking about. Yep, each one of these is gonna be a Disney movie that hopefully you've seen before, but if not, get your parents to help you if they've seen them before too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I I'm love excited. Disney movies. Oh yeah. How it's, many Disney movies have you seen, Camden? Like, like three. So. Wow. Yeah. So this is gonna be a great game. This is gonna game. be easy for me, let's yeah. be honest. All right, so our first emojis, we seem to have like a, a sunrise. Oh yeah, a, sunrise. like sunrise. Um, and then a lion. Oh, I love lions. Lions are good. Yeah. And then you got a crown yeah. over there. Um, it's the crown, like a king, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, a boar. Yeah. Boars. Boars. They're like um, a, they're like the African pig, or uh, or like maybe like a, a, a beastly pig. Yeah. And then you got an elephant. So let's see here. A lot of a lot of African animals. African animals. Yeah. Lions yeah. and kings. We're gonna let you guys guess though. You only get five seconds though. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Time's up. All right, Did you, what was your answers? I'm not gonna lie, this one was a little bit easy to me. I mean, yeah. it was the first one. You I, got lions, you got all this. This is a stuff. great movie. It's gotta be Finding Nemo. What? Think about it, Finding Nemo. I mean, you got the crown, it's like a find. And then like, if the cat's name was Nemo, like you're Finding Nemo. No, like, no, 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 it's no? The Lion King. Oh, it's... It's the Lion King. It's the Lion yes. King. Yeah. Yes, it is. So if you guessed the Lion King, you got it right. Right. If not, it's okay. We've got some more we're going to do. All right, yeah. let's go to the next one, Camden. Lion King was my next guess. Okay, okay. All right. So we seem to have like a princess here. Yep, she's got a nice crown. Yeah, a little tiara. And then another lion. Yeah. Or like a beast or some oh, sort. Oh, like a beast, yeah. And then a yep. flower or a rose. Ooh. What do you guys think? You get five seconds. Five, five four, four, three, Two, one, one. Time's, time's up. up. All right. Let's see here. Uh, so what do you think this is, Camden? I, mean, I think we all know what this one is. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Finding Nemo. What? Think think about it. The flower. The flower was a dead giveaway. Because, you know, there were flowers in Finding Nemo, like underwater. And they were I, I don't think flowers grow underwater, Camden. They, they could if you I, tried. No. no. The answer is Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Such a great That's movie. That's a good one. I, I saw yeah. that one, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if you got Beauty and the Beast, congratulations. You got it right. Great if job. not, that's okay. We've got some more movies coming up. Wow. Right. There's a lot of emojis here. There are a lot. So we seem to have like a horse. Oh, a horse. And like, a, a, <laughs> like a rocket ship. Oh, yeah. And then we've got. And then uh, a pig. Like a. <laughs> A pig. a pig. And then you got a dinosaur, T Rex. I That's think it's more like. Or like a. All right, and then you got a robot, like a beep boop. Yeah, and it, it kind of looks like a. It kind of looks like a toy robot. Like a toy. Toy robot. A toy robot. And then we have a book at the end. A toy, and you know what a book is? A toy and a book. Oh that, man! But go. you get five seconds to guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, I'm not gonna lie. There is only one movie, one simple child's movie. It's full of toys. Oh man, this is my book. favorite movie. Oh yeah, you know this one. I love. I this know movie. this one. It's gotta be Finding Nemo. It's Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy. Because the book was a story. Yeah, toy. it's Toy Story. Wow. Kenan, how did you miss that? I I, I don't know. You know, if you got that one right, congratulations. Great job, guys. If Toy not, Story. you really should look up that movie because that's a great movie. It's a, it's a wonderful you movie. You need to watch that movie. Yeah, it's good. 
Anyways, our next one. Oh, this one's kind of hard. Yeah, this one's a little bit tricky. Okay, so there seems to be like a princess. Yeah. She has blonde hair. She's blonde. Yeah. Um, you got a flower. It's a sunflower. Hey. There's and then stars. Some twinkle twinkles. And there's some paints. That's true. Um, and then there's an older lady. An She's older got lady. some gray hair. Maybe like a mom. Yeah, that's true. And then um, a girl. Not that moms are old. Scissors, um, cutting brown hair. Brown hair, not blonde hair. Right. This one's a little bit tricky. I don't know. Let's see if you can guess it. You got five seconds. Five, five four, three, two, two one. one. Time's up. All right. What do you guys think it is? All right. I, th I think I know what this is, but I think, it's, this is a hard movie. I think I might know what this one is, too. You want to say it at the same time? Okay, we're going to say it at the same time, just right, so ready? that you can get the full impact of this movie. Are you ready? All right, ready? All right three, three, two, two one. one. Finding Nemo. What? Finding Nemo, like the blue paint. It's Finding Nemo, right? Because water's blue. And so is the paint. No. What? The answer is Tangled. Because what? there's the princess with blonde hair and like the community with like the sun and they cut her hair and it turns brown. One of these has got to be Finding Nemo. Okay, okay. Well, maybe maybe it'll it'll come up eventually. But if you okay. got Tangled right, congratulations. Good job. If not, that's a hard movie to get. So I it's mean, okay. It Obviously, is, this game is pretty difficult for people. It, yeah. Okay. Next one. All right. We got a snowflake. A snowflake. Um, like ice. ice. Um, you got yeah. a queen. There's a yeah, Maybe. queen, princess. I think, I'm, I think I'm getting better at this. You yeah. got two girls who are friends, but they could also be sisters. Sisters. Think about that. And there's a snowman. And a snowman. You got some ice, some sisters, a snowman. There's only one movie that this could We're going to give you be. five seconds to guess, though. Five, four, three, two, one. one. Time's, Time's up. up. All right, all right. All right. Let me no, say yeah, this Yeah, I was okay. about to say, I, I think you already know my answer by this point. Okay, I'm well, just, I'm, just, I'm gonna say what it is. I'm just gonna let you go. The yeah. answer is Finding Nemo. I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> hold it in. I just had to let it go. The Finding Nemo. Morning. There's ice in it. There's not ice in Finding Nemo. Water turns into ice. But not in Finding Nemo. It could. The answer is Frozen because Elsa and Anna and there's Olaf. Oh, she has ice powers. That makes sense. All right, guys, next one. So we've got a little boy. A little boy. Mm -hmm. There's a bear. No, I like bears. There's a lion. Uh, uh, a tiger. I like tigers. And there's a snake. I do not like snakes. And a monkey. I like monkeys. Yeah. Monkeys are cool. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, monkey. No, I, I no. messed up. There's not a lion on there. Oh. Anyways, you get five seconds to guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Time is up. All right, Camden, gentlemen. before you answer this. All right. They are jungle animals. Jungle. I got you. Jungle animals, a Disney movie. Yeah. You guys think I would say Finding Nemo. I know you. Because we all know that's I, that's not that, the It's obviously not Finding Nemo. It's not Finding Nemo. It's Finding Dory. What? Because think about it. And Finding Dory, um, there was the sea lions. Sea lions are like land animals. She meets an octopus. That's obviously from the jungle. I mean. There's not even an octopus up there. The answer is the Jungle Book. The Jungle Book. Yeah. That's so if you guessed the Jungle Book, you got it right. Man. If not, that's okay. Because maybe you guessed Finding Dory at this point. I don't know. I don't think anybody else thought it was Finding Dory. But it's Dory. okay. Because, ladies and gentlemen, boys and squirrels, we have come to the last question. The final question. The finale. There are no more questions after this question. That's what final question means. All right. All right. So we seem to have a magnifying glass. Right. A mag magnifying glass. And a fish. And a fish. Camden. Magnifying you glass. You know exactly what movie this is. No, I do? Yeah. Oh. All right. And I bet you guys at home know what this movie is too, but we're going to give you five seconds to figure it out. Yep. Five. five four. Four. Three, Three, two, two, two one. one. Tell them what it is, Camden. You're not going to tell them yourself? No. You know, you, go ahead. You sure? Yeah. Cool. Go not, ahead. You're not going to tell them? Cool. <laughs> go ahead, Camden. Cool, but I have no idea what this is. Camden, you, you know exactly what this movie is. I, he's like using a magnifier. He's like finding a fish. What? Yeah, I have no clue. Why, why would you find a fish? Because he's lost. In the ocean? 
Kenan, you've been talking about this movie the entire time. Uh, Renegade? No, it's Finding Nemo. What's that? Anyways, guys, if you guessed Finding Nemo or any of these movies, congratulations. If you didn't, well, I guess you found something to stream on Disney Plus later. But now we're about to we're go. We're about to go into some praise and worship. So everybody get up on your feet. We're about to sing. We're going to dance. We're going to have a fun, groovy time. And we're all going to worship and honor God. So let's go into that right now. What's up guys? So glad that you could join us again for memory verse time. Our memory verse this month comes out of Philippians 2, double dot 3. Hope you remember it. But if you don't, that's okay because we're going to learn it again. You ready? Let's do it. Don't be selfish. Hey. Don't try to impress Bruh. others. Be humble. Aww. Thinking of others as better I love it. than 
yourself. Philippians 2, double dot, 3. Now what does this mean? It means we need to be thinking about others more than we're thinking about ourselves. So maybe that means helping your mom around the house, playing with your brother or your sister because they want to play with you and not spending so much time by yourself because we want to show them love the same way that Jesus showed us love. You think you got it? Well, let's try the verse one more time. Don't be selfish. Yeah, 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 Don't try to impress <clears throat> others. Be humble. Thinking of others as better I love it. than yourselves. Philippians 2, double dot, 3. Man, guys, that was amazing. I'm so glad that we get to spend this time together. And I'm so glad that you're learning this memory verse. Really be thinking about it this month. And as we continue to do it through the weeks, keep applying it more and more to your life. Now, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Hannah. See ya. All right, guys, it's time for my favorite part, which is the Bible lesson. Okay, so for this lesson, I'm actually going to need some help um, with some sound effects. Okay, so if I say laugh, you're going to have to laugh. So let me hear your laugh. <laughs> That's good. All right, let me hear if I say gasp. Like you're shocked. Yes. There you go. That's good. All right. And if you hear the word dance party, let me see it. Dance party. <laughs> All right. I probably won't say dance party, but that was fun anyways. All right. So we're going to pick up on our story that we talked about um, last week and the week before. We talked about how on Easter what we celebrate. Jesus died on the cross and then he ended up um, being put in the tomb and then three days later he came back to the life. And if you remember, Peter and John went to the tomb and the tomb was empty and everybody go, what? What? There you go. Um, but when they found out that the tomb was empty, they were still confused. They didn't know what had happened. Um, but then Jesus had showed up and he told him that they told them and they saw him and they realized that he had come back to life. Okay. So later that same day, so the same day um, that Mary went and told Peter and John, that same day there were two people, they were followers of Jesus, and they were walking to Emmaus, okay, which is a village probably about, um, I would say probably about seven miles from Jerusalem. So it was quite a bit of a walk, okay. So they're just walking. So I need everybody on your feet, okay. And I want you to take a lap around your couch, okay. So go ahead, start walking, walking. There you go, okay. And when they were walking, what ended up happening was Jesus appeared, okay? So you can stop walking. You can sit down now. All right, there you go. So Jesus appeared with them as they were walking. and But the thing is, they didn't realize that it was Jesus. Everybody go, what? What? Yeah, so what happened was God made it to where they didn't recognize who Jesus was at that time, Okay. So they were walking with him and they were talking. They had actually already been talking about um, what everybody else in Jerusalem was talking about that day and how Jesus' body was missing and how he had died on the cross and all, all this. It was big news. And so Jesus goes, what are you talking about? And so these guys, they were walking along. They were like, what? You are probably the only person that has not heard. Okay, so we're actually in the book of Luke. In 24, and he says that um, Jesus asked them, what are you discussing so intently as you walk along? Okay, he says, they stopped short, sadness written across their faces. Then one of them, Cleopas, that was his name, he replied, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there the last few days. Okay, the things that happened to Jesus, the man from Nazareth, they said. He was a prophet who did powerful miracles, and he was a mighty teacher in the eyes of God and all the, all the people. Okay, so he, they were telling Jesus about Jesus. How funny is that? Okay, but again, they didn't realize it was him. So they were walking along, and they were talking. And as they were, they were walking, um, Jesus ended up coming back and saying... To them, you foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all, this, all that the prophets wrote in scriptures. Wasn't it clear 
wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his kingdom? So Jesus is telling these two guys as they're walking, he's saying, you, you already knew this. We, this was already said. This has been written down. You knew that this was going to happen. So this should not be new information. So what Jesus ended up doing was telling those guys the rest of the way. Again, it was seven miles, so it was probably a lengthy conversation. But they, Jesus started telling them all the things that um, were predicted ahead of time in what we call the Old Testament now. So they all, what ended up happening was Jesus was telling them exactly everything that had been predicted, everything that had come true in the last few days. Now, how cool is that? So they already knew ahead of time that it was going to happen, but now they're just now realizing it. Isn't that crazy? So it was all like brand new information to them. Okay, but this is, this is a really cool story. So as Jesus was talking, like I said, it was seven miles. So he was probably giving them a lot of knowledge, telling them a lot of good stuff. Okay, but they ended up making it to Emmaus. Okay, and it almost seemed like Jesus was going to keep walking. But the two guys were like, well, it's getting late. You might as well come and stay with us. So they were interested in what he was saying and they wanted to know more. So they ended up letting him stay with them. Or, yes, letting him stay with them. And so when they sat down for dinner that night, they ended up breaking bread. As soon as Jesus broke the bread, he disappeared. <gasps> they knew who he was and then he disappeared. So what happened was as soon as he sat down and broke the bread and they were about to eat, Jesus or God took off that blinding that was on their eyes and they realized that it was Jesus they had been spending time with all day long. And then they got, and then he disappeared. Okay, so then what happened was they got so excited about it that they ended up getting up and they ran back to Jerusalem. Remember, seven miles. So everybody stand up, stand up. There you go. Stand up. There you go. Parents, you can do it too. And walk the opposite direction. Go ahead and walk the opposite direction back. There you go. Go ahead. Walk. There you go. It's not going to hurt you. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So they walked all the way back and they told Jesus' disciples, his 11 followers, all the exciting things that had just taken place and how Jesus walked with them to Emmaus and he told them all of these things and they were just so excited. How awesome is that? So he knew, he knew exactly. Yes, you can sit back down. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so he knew exactly what was going to happen. They knew. So it was like there were blinders on their eyes and God had just taken them away. So this whole time they were given information in the Old Testament telling them what was going to happen. And it actually happened and they were still kind of clueless until Jesus was explaining to them how it was all taking place. Isn't that crazy to think that in the middle of a situation, we can't understand. We know that God's there, but we can't understand why that's happening until we're removed from the situation. And later we can understand it a little bit more. How awesome is that? So our bottom line is actually, there's always more to discover about God's plan. So when you're in the middle of a situation, kind of like this whole COVID, I mean, shut down, everybody making, um, everybody having to stay at home. We're not really understanding it, right? We're kind of stuck at home. Things are not making sense. We're not able to go to school. We're not able to do certain things that we were able to do before. And it seems like a little bit scary, right? It seems a little bit scary, like we're not really sure what's going on. But you know what? It's really cool because God has a bigger plan. We may not see it right now, but later on, we'll see it. And we'll see how God has used this situation to be glorified. How awesome is that? I love that. There's always more to discover about God's plan. So they had it written down. The disciples, they were able to read the plan all along in the Old Testament. They knew that it was going to happen, but yet it's still like they did not realize it until after the fact. Um, so how awesome is that? So what this is really saying is there's always more to discover about God's plan. No matter how many times we read this, we can always discover more about his plan. No matter how old you are, if you're Two, or if you're 182, it doesn't matter. You can always discover more about God by reading His Word. You can never discover enough. Okay, so I challenge you this week to really just jump into His Word. Read the story that I just told you in chapter um, 24 of Luke. Go back and read that with your family 
and just really focus on how cool that is and how there were blinders on their eyes, but then God took them away. Um, how cool is that? I really can't say that enough. I know I've said it a lot, but how cool is that to know that there is always more? God's not going to leave us hanging. He's not going to um, leave us where we're at, but he's always going to show us more. He's always going to pour into us and love us more no matter what. So, oh my goodness, that's good stuff. All right, so let's pray. Dear Lord God, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for this opportunity to come and learn more about you, God. We thank you for the fact that there is always more to discover about you, God. You're not always going to tell us ahead of time, um, but God, we know that you have something far greater planned for us than we could ever imagine, ever dream up, God. So help us right now um, to trust you every step of the way, to depend on you, God, that whenever we get scared or or um, full of fear or anxiety, or we get stressed out because we know that um, kids can get stressed out too. God, that we just depend on you. God, that we rely on you and that we focus on you no matter what. God, that you help us to spend more time um, during this um, quarantine and everything that's going on, that we focus more on you, that we spend more time in your word, reading your word, and spend more time praying, God, because that is the most important thing. God, we love you so much, and we thank you again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, so now it is time for small groups. So parents, don't hang up. Don't go surfing something else. Make sure that you check out these questions because this is super important to just take time to spend with your kids and talk to them about their relationship with God. Talk to them about discovering his plan for their life because they may be young, but guess what? God still has a plan for them. So make sure you take this opportunity to talk to them um, and get to know them a little bit more and get to know God's plan in their heart. Um, but go ahead and take this time.
Okay guys, thanks again for joining us. We had so much fun talking about humility and how sometimes things look a little upside down. Um, like I said, we are so excited that you join us. Make sure you join us next week and join us at 10 o'clock for Big Church. We'll see you then.